Minnesota is taking a three-pronged approach to limit the spread of chronic wasting disease and keep Minnesota's wild deer population healthy. Whether you're someone who just likes seeing white-tailed deer or a hunter who looks forward to enjoying venison for dinner, many Minnesotans share the desire for a healthy deer population, said Lou Cornicelli, wildlife research manager for the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. The management actions we've built into this fall's deer hunting regulations are critical for protecting deer now and preserving this resource for future generations. First, the DNR is expanding hunting opportunities and bag limits in areas where CWD has been found in wild deer. Harvesting more deer will reduce the possibility of additional disease spread because there will be fewer deer in lower densities. The second prong is a deer feeding and attractant ban that affects 18 counties in southeastern and north-central Minnesota and a continued feeding ban in six central Minnesota counties. These restrictions will reduce the potential for close contact between deer. Shared food allows direct deer-to-deer contact. Diseased deer can also contaminate the food even if they are not present when healthy deer come to eat. And limiting movement of deer carcasses is the third aspect of the DNR's approach to managing CWD. These measures restrict movement of deer harvest near locations where other hunters have harvested CWD-positive deer. Hunters in southeast and north-central Minnesota should be aware of carcass movement restrictions. Details of these restrictions are available online at mndnr.gov forward slash deer imports. The restrictions also do not allow whole carcasses of any deer, elk, moose, or caribou harvested outside Minnesota to be brought into Minnesota. I'm Dwayne Etienne reporting for rjbroadcasting.com.